and today I'm going to share with you a sew along for this new look pattern 6574 and we're going to be making this beautiful dress version C with the puff sleeves and the band. So to make this dress we're going to be using this viscose chalice in black. Now it's all also available in black on cream and navy on cream. So this is black, um, white on black and it's 140 centimetres wide. It's 100% viscose and it's a light to medium weight fabric. Now, should you wish to sew along with me today, everything will be linked in a bundle below. So all you have to do is click on that link and you'll have everything you need. So you will receive the new look pattern, the viscose chalice in the colourway of your choosing, a matching thread, a matching zip, some buttons because there is a button detail at the front on this dress, some hook and eyes and some interfacing. Now while you're here why not take a look at the Minerva Craft Club. With the Minerva Craft Club you get 10% off all your orders for a whole year so that's a really good deal. That will also include anything that you buy with us today. Also, why not create a free account? When you create a free account, you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to share your sewing hobby. So why not take a look? Now, before you begin making this dress, you want to wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally. So if you normally wash and tumble dry, do that now. And this will make sure that any shrinkage occurs now and not after you've created your beautiful makes. Once you've done this, you want to take a tape measure, locate the sizing on the back of your pattern and measure your bust, waist and hips. Now, you should always do this when you start a new pattern because patterns can vary and don't just go on your standard dress size. This will ensure a perfect fit. When you've located your size, we're going to go and cut the pattern pieces for version C. And we're going to go and do that together now. So here are our pattern pieces. So this is the skirt front for versions A, B and C. We're going to cut two. This is our grain line and this is our centre front seam. Make a note of the notches and these markings here. This is your cutting line for versions B and C. This is your skirt back. You're going to cut two. This is your grain line. Here is your waistline marking. Again, make a note of the notches and these markings here. This is your centre back seam and your cutting line. This is your back bodice for A, B and C. You're going to cut two. This is your grain line. Make a note of the notches. This is the centre back. Make a note of these notches here. This is your body's front. You're going to cut two. Here is your grain line. This is the centre front point. Make a note of these circles and your notches. This is the sleeve front for C. This is your grain line. Cut two. Make a note of the notches. Make a note of this marking here and the direction of the pleat. This is where you will gather and make a note of the small circle. This is the sleeve back. Again, you're going to cut two. This is your grain line. Make a note of the notches. 
the pleat direction and marking here, small circle and this is where you will gather. This is your sleeve band, this is your grain line, you're going to cut two, this is the back and this is the front. Make a note of these circles here and the notches. Here we have our front neck band and our back neck band. Now we're cutting four of this. So this is why we have six and six and seven and seven. So you're going to cut four of fabric and you're going to cut two of interfacing. This is for your loop where the buttons will go. So I'll cut one of this and this is on the uh, bias. So that's why the grain line is going that way. So now we're ready to begin making our dress. So first of all, you want to wind half of your thread onto your spool. Then check that you're using the correct needle. So I'm using a universal needle, a size 70. And that's the standard needle. So check that your needle is sharp before you begin because they do get blunt and that can affect your sewing. When you've done this, you're going to take your front bodice piece and we're going to do a line of stay stitching around the neck edge here. We're going to do this on the front and the back bodice. So set your stitch length to a, the longest length and we're going to do that a couple of millimetres from the edge. Now you're going to stitch your two front bodice pieces together. So place one on top of the other, right sides facing, and here where I have my pin, that's where the large dot was on your pattern piece. So because my chalk wouldn't show up, I've placed a pin there. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch from here down to the bottom with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, reinforce here at this point where your dot is. So back tight well here. Then you're going to press back the seam allowance, 1.5 centimetres, then press it under again, 6 millimetres, because we're going to stitch that down. Now as you can see it's been pressed under and then pressed under again. And what we're going to do is we're going to stitch down this side, then square it off at the bottom and then stitch up the other side. on your front bodice between the lower notches here and here and on this side here and here you want to do a line of gathering stitches a few millimetres from the edge and then another line directly above that. So what you want to do is leave your thread so that you can pull it. So don't back tack. Do another row, just a few millimetres away. So leave those free so that they're there for you to pull and gather later on. With right sides facing, you're going to stitch the front to the back at the side seams. So, here is your top. 
Match your notches at the side and pin it in position before you begin stitching. That's my side notch. Now we're going to pin a sleeve front to a sleeve back at the shoulder seam. So match your notch again here. Continue pinning all the way down and then we're going to stitch it together 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. <laughs> So to make the pleats on the sleeve, you bring your marking here into this centre seam, fold it in and pin it in position and do the same on the other side. So these come into the centre. Now machine based along the bottom of there to keep that in place. Then between your circles, which were here and here, I've put a little notch for mine, you're going to gather. So two lines of gathering stitching again. Stitch your underarm seam. Bring your sleeve band together at the notched edge and stitch down the seam. Then you're going to fold up bringing this seam together flat so open it up first you might want to press it out actually bring those together and then when you've got it folded in half like this you want to machine base around the top edge now you're going to attach your band to your sleeve. So first of all, match your underarm seam. Pin that in position. We're going to finish this raw edge after we've done this. So pin that into position. Now where the head of my pin is here, that's where my large dot was on the band. You're going to match that with where your dot was here on your sleeve piece. So I'm going to move that pin now and put it here. And do the same on the other side. So here's the head of my pin. Pin that into position. Then you're going to pull your gathering stitches so that your sleeve fits your band. Now stitch your band into position when you're happy with your with your distribution of your gathers. <laughs> and just smooth them out underneath as you go. You might find it's easier if you have them on the top, whichever way you prefer. I like to have the flat band on the top. For this now you're going to pin your sleeve to your dress bodice. So match your notches. So your sleeve notches here, your bodice notches, so pin them in position, match your underarm, with a notch here,
Now when you've pinned it into position you're going to stitch it in place and then when you've stitched it in place you're going to do another line of stitching directly below that three millimetres away and then snip away the excess. Lay your back skirt pieces one on top of the other, right sides facing and this time you're going to stitch the centre back seam from the notch here down to the bottom. You're leaving the opening above it because this is where your zip will go. With right sides facing, place your skirt back on top of your skirt front and stitch the side seam. Pin your dress bodice to your dress skirt, matching the notches and at the points between the notches where you've pulled your gathering stitches, pull them. Where you've stitched your gathering stitches, pull them to fit. Do the same all the way along. When you've pulled up all your gathering stitches, you can stitch your bodice to your skirt. Take your pins out and keep your uh, gathers in position with your fingers. Now press under 1.5 on left back opening and 1.3 on the right and then change to your zipper foot. Now on the right side Pin your zipper so that the teeth are close to the pressed under edge, like this, and turn under the top of the zipper so it's behind the facing, so that when you fold it back, it's inside there like that. Do that the whole way down on the right side. Pin the left side of your zip in position. You may want to tack it in place with some hand stitches as well before stitching, so that it overlaps your zip and hides it and we're going to stitch down this side with your zipper foot catching it in and then we're going to square it off at the bottom point here. Hand stitch your hook and eyes in position behind your zip so one on this side and one on this side. Stitch your buttons in position on the front Finish your seams and press them all down. Finish your hem, try it on to check that you're happy with the length and now you're going to hem it. So I've finished the edging of the hem because I'm happy with the length. I'm just going to do a single fold hem at the bottom. So here is the finished dress. I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you sewn this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below along with any photographs. We always love to see what you've been making. Also if you have any questions pop those in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well that's all for today but I hope to be back with another sew along really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.